repent because God will start to restore you and me. Let's talk more about it. Now, there are different kinds of mistakes. The honest mistake or the mistakes of the mind is when we miss out on a piece of information or decide without seeing the entire picture of the situation. Have you experienced that? Then there is the moral or the mistakes of the heart wherein we know something to be wrong but we choose to still do it anyway. So that's a mistake, a moral mistake. The latter causes more guilt and leaves deeper wounds. So how do we address? How can we address and rise above our mistakes and failures? So here are some of the ways that we could do. First, we need to let God initiate. Always remember that God initiates. In Psalms chapter 32 verses 3 to 4, we will learn that, there that uh, just like what Charles Spurgeon says that God does not allow his children to sin successfully. David in his sin with Bathsheba, remember, and Uriah went, to, went through it as if nothing was wrong. But God initiated the process of what? Correction. The process for correction through Nathan. David left the guilt or felt the guilt. He can't leave the guilt just at, on the door. He really felt that guilt and consequences dealt to him in 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 14 you could read how guilty David was however even in the seemingly heavy hand of the Lord upon David it was God's grace can you say it with me God's grace it was God's grace at work that bought or brought David to a place of repentance so that the process of restoration can begin restoration is initiated by God but we are also expected to respond to his hand of correction. So God initiates, so we therefore respond. How do we respond? So we, 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 we can respond through, here's the next point, through admission or admitting, through admission and through admitting and assuming responsibility. So we have to admit and resume or assume responsibility. Psalms chapter 32 verse 5 says there, in verse 5, David admitted to the Lord that what he did was wrong. So that was his admission. In Psalms chapter 51 verses 1 to 3, David appealed to, to the, the grace of God. He drew near to the Lord based on his compassion, grace, and loving kindness. He humbled himself and admitted his sins without blaming others do you have the courage do we have the courage to do that many times we do not want to accept responsibility because of pride however we need not to fear when we come toward the lord to admit our sins he is willing to listen to us and to what to forgive us number three is that we need to accept the consequences Psalms chapter 32 verses 6 to 7, part of, of our admission of our sins is the acceptance of its consequences. We have to accept it because once we did that wrong thing, even we admit it to God, when we, we ask for, for forgiveness from God, there are still consequences that we need to face. And David faced the serious and painful consequences of his sins. In 2 Samuel chapter 12, you can read that on your own time, uh, including the death of his child that was so hard. He experienced sorrow, but it's the kind of sorrow that led him back to the Lord. In verses 6 to 7, David advises us to what? To pray, not wait, and repent now, not later, because disobedience or partial obedience or delayed obedience is still disobedience. We must change our direction immediately when God convicts us and while there is still time. The Christian life is a life of repentance which is a change of heart. It requires a change of heart, a conscience controlled by God's Spirit and guided by God's Word that helps us avoid sin and destruction. Last but not the least, we need to accept that forgiveness. We need to receive forgiveness. 
stop doing self-pity actions. In Psalms chapter 32 verses 10 to 11, receiving forgiveness does not give us a license to sin again. When we receive the grace from God, we value it by choosing to do things right moving forward. There should be a 180 degrees turn. Psalms chapter 32 verses 10 to 11 is a reminder for us to choose the way of the righteous. We are forgiven and so we must choose to keep things right before the Lord. It is our response to His grace and kindness. So again, always remember, let us return to the Lord and stay in His presence for He is the God who restores. Never hesitate to repent because God restores us and will restore us every time that we commit a mistake to Him. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to have this short devotion with my brothers and sisters in Christ. We come to you with a humble heart as we pray for all of the sins that we have done in the past. Specifically in this prayer, we want to lift it all up to you. For you are always initiating and taking the initiative to rebuke us. So again, we, we admit and assume the responsibility and we also accept the consequences of these sins. But more importantly, we accept your forgiveness. Jesus Christ, forgive us cleanse us and purify us and moving forward starting the day we will live a life that glorifies you we give back all the glory honor and praise in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen god bless everyone